Stereotypes are a funny thing. When I go out in public wearing this uniform, the comments are so predictable. Are you really a black belt? Or can you beat up my friend over here? Or they just go, what? <laughs> Karate kid thing, right? They think it's funny. But to be honest, people do laugh at me and question the validity of my black belt as if four foot 11, 110 pounds, woman in her mid 40s, maybe she's just wearing an ornament around her waist. But perhaps it's they're, they're uncomfortable with the thought, if I had to defend myself against them, I could win. This is me, I was a socialite cheerleader, I never raised my fist. How I went from that to being an 11 time world champion, owning 11 martial arts academies, it's beyond me. But I do remember, it was when I was 13 I was raped. And from that point forward, I decided to never let another human being steal my dignity again. So why should you, well, thank you. Why should you learn martial arts? Well, one in four women are sexually assaulted in their lifetime, that was me. One in six men, that was my husband. And my little girl, she has to face what everybody faces, that's the bully. And men, I know you think that your wife and your children, they believe that you could defend yourself if someone broke into your house. Could you really? I mean, it's a scary thought. Um, I teach self-defense classes, and the people that come in, they don't know what they're doing. Uh, when the baseline rapist was running rampant in 2005, that's when people woke up. 120 people called me in one day asking for self-defense classes. So to fight or flight, to fight or not, that's the question. We're born with it, right? Animals are, they say that we are too, but how come when we're faced with a situation to fight, we do nothing, but we fight when we shouldn't? We're obsessed with fear. We wear it on our t-shirts, on our bumper stickers, the billboards. Everybody says they have a, an ability to fear nothing. Well, we have to face this, that there's no monster in the closet. Fear is real and we have to face it. Uh, Gavin De Becker, he wrote a national bestseller called The Gift of Fear, and he proves there's clear warning signs when something bad is gonna happen. It's not just a surprise. Uh, you have to be aware, if you're walking and somebody comes up behind you, you have to do something about it. My best friend, uh, she was taken from in front of Fry's at gunpoint and raped, and she was 15 times denied her fear. To fight is not a bad word. When you're defending your life, it's a good thing. You have to do it. If somebody attacks you, you're in a fight whether you like it or not. And bullying, it's at an all-time high. Our kids face that bully. Our kids are taking their own lives because the bully is attacking them day after day after day. And we have to move beyond that. We have to stand up for ourselves. We have to fight. Don't be the deer standing there with that truck coming right at them, and bam, they're dead. They did nothing. I'm just suggesting take a little self-defense class. Learn something, because armed with a little knowledge, you can be that. You can win. It's when grandma has the guy break into her house and she's ready. It does happen where the hunted becomes the winner. Now, about choosing a martial art, what I tell people is there's a bigger difference between one person and another teaching one art um, than there is between the arts themselves. And here I am, age 14, first time I ever had to defend myself. That's where my self-esteem started to come up. That's where I finally learned I could do something. So in finding an instructor, you just have to make sure that you're comfortable with their ability to teach you not to fight for the weed whacker. My husband learned that the hard way. He chased the guy into the street, had him in a headlock. The guy bit his arm. So uh, yes, he saved the weed whacker, but that was a bad idea. <laughs> Three things, assess the situation, do something about it, pick the right action, and be able to implement it. I learned that my first class. I walked in, I made that decision, and I'm asking you to do it today too. Decide to find peace, decide to do something. Thank you.